Hey guys, hello and welcome back. As always, my name is Lazar, and today we got a bit of a channel update. 60,000 subscribers and I'm so happy and grateful that once again I'm able to talk to you like this. It kind of gives me the chance to get certain things off my chest and kind of let you know how the channel is doing, what content plans do I have and so on and so forth. That being said, I didn't call you here just to brag about 60,000 subscribers, I also have a bit of a giveaway. This one is sponsored by Digital Extremes and I got 975 plat codes to give away and they are available on any platform. If you want to enter the giveaway, nothing simpler, you simply gotta leave me in the comment section down below your in-game name and the platform of choice. For example, Corky Porky on PlayStation 4. Again, an example. And I have one additional giveaway, but this one will be done on my streams. Link in the description down below for my Twitch page. We do stream Monday through Thursday for a couple of hours a day. We do idol on hunts, daily on NASA, Kuva, etc, etc. And thank you to Andy for helping me sponsor this giveaway. That being said, let's talk about content on the channel and how it will progress further. First and foremost, I'm still on primary and secondary weapon reviews, I know you guys love the format and it will remain as it is and I will strive to keep the quality up as I gotten you guys used to. But I want melee reviews, I know you guys want them too, but I'm sticking to my guns when it comes to melee 3.0. No melee reviews until 3.0 comes out, I'll give it about a week after it comes out so at least some of the bugs will get worked out, then we're going heavily into melee reviews and Warframe reviews. Up until that point, I will keep trying to diversify as best I can with a little bit of something like MR test, for example, or perhaps a Riven hunt, or perhaps an Eidolon hunt, and so on and so forth. That being said, there are a couple of other games out there which did manage to catch my attention. I'm a huge fan of Red Dead Redemption, I loved the original, I played it to death on my PS3, and I can't really bring you any content for Red Dead Redemption 2. Because, well, once again, it's only on consoles, at least for the time being, so boo-hoo for me. Now, there's one game that is not only on consoles and should be available fairly soon, I hope, Darksiders 3. Currently, I can't bring you any content for that one either, because they got this whole deal going on with IGN for exclusivity and all whatnot. So, that's a no-go as well. What about Cyberpunk 2077? I'm super hyped for that game, I'm a massive supporter of CD Projekt Red, mostly because of their Witcher series, and I'm sure... Okay, I'm 99% sure they will not disappoint, God willing, of course. So those three games are kinda on my list, also Devil May Cry 5, but I'll be honest here, while I don't necessarily completely dislike what they did with DMC Devil May Cry, I'm not exactly a fan of not playing the old Dante. Yeah, kind of an old man sit in my ways, aren't I? But can you blame me, I love the old Dante, not necessarily the new Dante. Okay, that's enough about that. What about Nef Anio? You guys know who Nef Anio is? Well, some of you have left me some very interesting comments regarding my accent, that you love it, that you hate it. Honestly, I love reading each and every single one of them. And here's what Nef Anio had to say on the subject. Hello there, Lazar. I tell you this, you keep speaking in that kind of accent, and the Void will reward you handsomely. Keep enthralling your viewers with that magical voice, and tell your wife the Void says hello. <laughs> so what do you guys think? Awesome, right? Nef dropped by one of our streams and he was super friendly and cool with us. We got to chat about this and that. And I was telling him I'm having a hard time getting my wife into playing Warframe. Now Annie is a 100% gamer, but she's kind of been shy towards Warframe. And to me that's super weird because up until this point we've played everything together from Age of Empires 2 all the way to present day and she still is sore because I remember the first time we played together was an Age of Empires 2 game and I won by building the... what was it called? Come on, that big structure thing. Oh yes, it was called the Wonder. I built the Wonder somewhere in the woods and she practically completely annihilated my base, I was on the verge of complete defeat, but my wonder finished just in time and I won our first 1v1 Age of Empires 2 game and she's been calling me a cheater ever since. Guys, you tell her she's wrong and you tell her to join me in Warframe. My chocolate plan failed, but I do got a couple of more tricks up my sleeves. Any good man would. Now getting back to our own Tamalas, Digital Extremes have kind of been teasing Fortuna. Now I have no clue exactly when the thing will launch, but I'm super hyped and I cannot wait to see all the brand new features, the hoverboards, the mods, the boss fights, the whatever Fortuna has to bring. I'm super pumped and I'm ready to go. And well, I think that's pretty much it for this channel update. Once again, thank you guys so much. Thank you to my wonderful patrons, which helped me out a truck ton and a half. If you guys want to join us over on Discord, link is in the description down below. As always, my name is Ben Lazar, 
and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Bye bye.